Workers' Councils by Antony Panikok, A Vision for Decentralized Socialist Democracy Antony Panikok, a Dutch astronomer and Marxist theorist, left an indelible mark on the landscape of political theory with his work on workers' councils. Published in 1946, this seminal text outlines a visionary model for achieving a truly democratic and decentralized form of socialism. In this comprehensive video, we delve into every aspect of Workers' Councils by Antony Panikok, from its core principles to its broader implications for the socialist movement. 1. Decentralized Democracy, the Essence of Workers' Councils At the heart of Panikok's theory lies the concept of decentralized democracy. Workers' Councils, as envisioned by Panikok, are autonomous bodies organized by workers within specific industries and sectors. These councils are designed to serve as the primary decision-making units in a socialist society, ensuring that power resides directly in the hands of those who perform the labor. 2. Direct Decision-Making, Eliminating Middlemen and Hierarchies a defining feature of workers' councils is their commitment to direct democracy. Panikok argued vehemently against the need for centralized states or bureaucracies to govern society. Instead, he proposed that workers should participate directly in decision-making processes through consensus-based methods. This approach would eliminate the need for intermediaries, hierarchical structures, and the concentration of power. 3. Anti-bureaucracy stance, a critique of traditional socialist parties. Panikok's work is underpinned by a profound skepticism of traditional socialist and communist parties that had developed bureaucratic tendencies. He believed that these bureaucracies were antithetical to the principles of worker self-governance and posed a threat to the true realization of socialism. Workers' councils, in his view, offered an antidote to the encroachment of bureaucracy. 4. The Internationalist Dimension – Solidarity Across Borders Panikok's vision extended beyond national borders. He championed the idea that a network of workers' councils could form the basis for a global socialist society. This internationalist perspective emphasized the importance of solidarity among workers worldwide, transcending the constraints of nationalism. 5. The Critique of State Socialism, Decentralization over Centralization One of the central tenets of Panikok's philosophy is his critique of state socialism, where a centralized government plays a dominant role in planning and decision-making. He believed that this form of socialism could inadvertently lead to new forms of oppression and hierarchy. Workers' councils, with their emphasis on decentralization and local autonomy, represented an alternative to the pitfalls of centralization. 6. Historical Context Post-World War II Europe It is important to understand the historical context in which Panikok's work emerged. The aftermath of World War II left Europe in a state of upheaval and reconstruction. Panikok's ideas resonated with many who were searching for new models of governance and social organization in a world forever changed by the war. 7. Influence and Impact – Legacy of Workers' Councils While Panikok's vision of workers' councils did not become the dominant model of socialist organization in the 20th century, his ideas continue to resonate with those who seek more decentralized, democratic, and bottom-up forms of socialism. His emphasis on worker self-management, direct democracy, and the rejection of bureaucracy has found echoes in various strands of socialist and anarchist thought. 8. Challenges and Criticisms – Practical Implementation Critics of Panikok's vision often raise questions about the practicality of implementing workers' councils on a large scale. They argue that achieving consensus-based decision-making across all sectors of a complex economy could be challenging. Additionally, concerns about efficiency and coordination are often voiced. 9. Contemporary Relevance – Workers' Councils in the 21st Century In the 21st century, as debates about the future of socialism and the role of workers in governance continue, Panikok's ideas on workers' councils remain relevant. In an era characterized by concerns about inequality, climate change, and the concentration of power, his call for decentralized democracy – and the direct participation of workers in decision-making holds particular resonance. In conclusion, Workers' Councils is a vision for democratic socialism. Antony Panikok's Workers' Councils presents a radical and visionary model for socialist governance. It encapsulates a commitment to decentralized democracy, direct decision-making, and the eradication of bureaucracy. While it may not have been fully realized in practice, the legacy of workers' councils endures as a compelling and thought-provoking contribution to the ongoing discourse on socialism, democracy, and the role of workers in shaping their own destinies. Panikok's work invites us to reevaluate the nature of governance, 
power, and participation in our societies, and to consider alternative paths towards a more equitable and democratic world.